Mike, thanks for joining us. Mike Murphy of the National Hockey League is at the uh, War Room. Tell us uh, exactly, Mike, uh, how you came to your conclusion. Walk us through it. Well, I think, you know, first of all, it was not an easy one. These are, these are uh, difficult calls. Um, we looked at where the puck came from, and, and I guess one of the most important factors is about two months ago, we sent a DVD to all the teams with explanations to state clearly that it doesn't circumvent the rule, but it's an addendum to the rule to make sure that they understand when we have these plays that they're not going to be easy, they're going to be difficult, and some of the things we look at are what propels the puck, what direction the puck is traveling in, uh, the speed of the puck the other direction. It had, to be, it had to be propelled some way, and we felt it was the skate in not a distinct kicking motion, but in a kicking motion that made it move back the other way. And we looked at it wasn't a, it wasn't a deflection, it wasn't a redirect, it was a kick. So that's how we, you know, that's the decision we came up with. And as I said, it's, uh, it's as tough a one as we've had. If he's just making a stop, coming to the net, driving the net, and just stopping, and it hits his skate, changes direction, is that now a kicking motion? No, we'll, we, we will often call that a goal. We'll let that stand as a goal. We felt that wasn't the case here, that he knew what he was doing. And some of the, the factors that we looked at, too, were... Um, you know, where his skate was, where his stick was, what did he do with his skate at the very end? To me, he looked like he twisted his toe and got a little more, mm -hmm. a little more push on the puck and got it moving back the other direction. Yeah, that's fair. Well, what about the idea of the skate being off the ice? At one time, that was the discussion. A distinct kicking motion involved you lift your skate or your skate comes off the ice in the follow-through, and that I could understand because there's danger uh, involved in that particular action. Whatever happened to that? Well, Ron, I think, I think we wanted to get more goals in the game, especially goals off skates, because at one time no goals were allowed off skates, and then we started to expand it, and we, got, we get into these very fine examples that we had tonight, or very difficult examples, where uh, a puck can hit a sta skate and go in the net. And, uh, uh, you know, it, it, was a, um, it was exactly what, uh, what we sent this DVD for as an addendum to make sure that everybody understood, and we had Quick, lots Mike, of examples. Yeah, I just, Mike, did you think he saw the puck? Did you think he actually looked down to see it? Well, I think he knew where the puck was, yeah. absolutely, yeah.